So yes, the Amish do visit doctors and use conventional medical care, but it's not so straightforward. The Amish are generally not a group that categorically refuses medical care for religious reasons. For example, blood transfusions or surgeries. The Amish do go to conventional family doctors. They go to hospitals in emergencies like accidents. You've had examples of country doctors that visit Amish homes. One example that comes to mind is the Dr. Elton Lehman, who for decades would do home visits to Amish families. The Amish are also generally willing participants in a variety of genetic studies. The Amish are very interesting to geneticists for the nature of their community as a relatively closed community. So there have been studies on things like Amish and cancer, Amish and longevity, but overall, you could say the Amish are less likely to go to conventional doctors than uh, non-Amish Americans. And there are a few reasons for that. In an Amish paradox, the authors look at this topic in some depth. One can be the expense. You know, they have large families, a lot of children, so that can really add up. Another reason is convenience. The distance to a doctor when you're a horse and buggy people can come into play. They also reported that Amish have a generally higher pain threshold, and that's as reported by doctors treating the Amish. Another reason may be simply not seeing the importance of the visit or the checkup in general. At the same time, just because they use conventional doctors less frequently doesn't mean they don't care about health. And in fact, they care quite a lot. Kind of what I'm getting at is that they do rely on a mix of alternative medical treatments. And this can really vary. Uh, some of these are seen much more in the plainer and more conservative Amish churches. Overall, the more progressive Amish are more likely to visit conventional doctors. So some of the alternatives Amish rely on, they include natural remedies or home remedies. That's very common among the Amish. Folk remedies. Sometimes in the most plain groups, you can find things such as sympathy healing or sympathy curing, although that's definitely not widespread. Chiropractors, for example, are quite popular among the Amish, possibly reflecting a higher need for them due to the physical nature of a lot of work the Amish do, you know, on the farm, uh, other physical jobs. John Hostetler speculated that this was due to the fact that chiropractors tend to spend more time talking with patients, and that sort of approach resonates with the Amish. The Amish do partake of medical tourism. They may be more likely to travel to Mexico or to other Latin American countries for treatments that are not available for whatever reason in the United States. You also may come across quote-unquote Amish doctors or Amish dentists. You know, you may have some Amish that do basic dental work like teeth pulling. Now, this is, of course, quite gray area uh, legally though they typically would operate on a donations-only basis, kind of as a loophole. So there are a variety of unconventional health practices that you'll find in Amish communities. I did a video on this. It's a good video. I uh, just have to warn you that that one had a sound issue, uh, so <laughs> you may not love the sound on it, but the information in there should be pretty interesting. So I'll link that at the end. So yeah, in general, Amish definitely do visit doctors, is just within a, a collection of other medical and health practices. There's not like one Amish approach to healthcare. The specific approach to health and wellness is going to vary by community. You know, some things can be more common in one community than in another. It can vary, of course, by family. You know, what's the custom in your family? How does your family handle when someone's sick? How do they handle illness? And of course, also by individual. So I hope that explains that topic better. Uh, thanks for watching. I will talk to you next time.